If you've just downloaded our Lightroom presets and you're looking for instructions on how to install those, I'll get to that in two seconds. If you are looking for some free presets, you can go to tdcat.com and go to Downloads and Lightroom Presets. And you'll see at the bottom here, there are a couple of free packs. We'll be adding to these in the future, but at the moment we have our 70s pack, our black and white pack, our urban pack, and our summer pack. And we'll download one of those now. And you'll notice that it goes straight to a zip file. And I'm gonna save that to my desktop. Within that zip file, we have our five presets. Most of the packs contain either five, six, seven, or eight presets. And to install those in Lightroom, let me just go into Lightroom here. I've actually already got them installed. Uh, if you go to Preferences, if you go to Edit and Preferences, or alternatively press Control or Command, Comma, and that brings you to your Preferences, and go to the Presets tab at the top, click Show Lightroom Presets folder, and the first folder that takes you to is the Lightroom folder highlighted here. If you go into the Lightroom folder and then go into Develop Presets, now you can either put them in your user presets, uh, which I think is already created for you, or you can just drop them straight into here. So if you create a new folder called, in this case, let's say we'll just do um, My Presets, and I'm going to get those that zip file. In fact, you can just cancel that for now because you're already in the folder in Explorer. And I'm going to get this zip file. And I'm just going to put these files across into here, into the My Presets folder. So we're, here's the full folder path. It's quite lengthy, actually, on, the, on Windows. Uh, C Drive users, well, C Drive or whichever one it's installed on, users, and then your username, app data, roaming, Adobe, Adobe Lightroom, develop presets and my presets. So if we now go back into Lightroom, if we close, we'll, get, we'll have to close Lightroom, go back into it, and it'll just do a quick scan at startup. And if we go to our develop section now, you will see that we have a folder called My Presets, and within My Presets is the TDCAT presets there. And as I say, we've already got them all installed in here anyway. You can duplicate them if you want. So we've got this uh, nice image here of uh, a lighthouse, and um, we've got a uh, sort of, let's say, our 70s film worn look, which has got this sort of look to it. Uh, 70s flat, flat look, golden look, Various different things. If you download all four packs, you'll probably have in total about 20 or 30 presets. So there you go, some um, some free stuff. If you've uh, got any requests for any more or you'd like to see some more on the website, just uh, comment below. And if you uh, enjoy these presets, please do consider subscribing to the channel or just give us a thumbs up. Cheers.